Hey guys, what's up? Tim Queen here and today we're going to talk about is it worth paying someone to do your LinkedIn? Now, LinkedIn, you can do a lot of things and you can pay a lot of people doing a lot of things on your LinkedIn account. So let's talk about each and every one of them, which one makes sense and which one is a complete waste of time. And at the end, I'm going to reveal the number, your minimum budget that you should invest if you want to get the best possible results for your LinkedIn sales funnel. So make sure that you stay all the way till the end. Let's talk about something that most people associate with LinkedIn. LinkedIn automation. And there are two ways how this can work. The first one is basically someone is installing some software on your computer or you have to hand over your login information and someone else will access your LinkedIn account, including having access to all of your messages and all of your network. And I could do whatever they want with that. If they do what they say, they will just run the software and the software will basically do the following. They will start a search filter and they say, hey, who do you want to reach? And you might say, hey, I want to reach restaurant owners working in Brooklyn. Then they will run their script, which will perform a search. It will scrape off every contact information from the search. Then it will open up every single profile and will send them a message. And the message will have one placeholder, which will automatically be pulled from their first name field. And might say, hey, first name, hey, Tim, blah, 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 blah. Now, the problem with that is that you're getting your account locked down because LinkedIn doesn't tolerate this and they're really, really good at um, detecting this. Then the second option, which is a bit different, this follows the same formula in the scrap of the list of contacts from the search field. Then they take the first name field and the last name field and whatever company the person put in as their job description. And if the company page has a website, they will try out different variations of possible email address because most people use an email address, first name, dot last name at companydomain.com. So what I might take first letter or first name dot last name or just last name add or first name add. So that just try out all the different combinations and try to guess someone's email address. That's why you're getting all of those spam mails because someone has been scraping off LinkedIn to get your contact information because you put your company into your experience section. That's how they can filter out and guess your email. Now, both of them getting your account shut down because LinkedIn primarily is like checking that you are scraping off data in an automated way. That's how they catch people. For those services, most companies, most LinkedIn lead generation agencies charge somewhere between 1,500 to 2,500 US dollar. Now this might work for a month and then you're getting your account permanently shut down and then that's it. You have lost your entire network. You cannot create a new account. LinkedIn will block any attempts to sign up with your same email address or even with a different email address. As long as you enter the same contact information, the same work experience, they will detect your account and they will instantly lock it down. So, um, or you sign up from the same IP address. So that's really basically the return on investment is that you are most certainly getting your account locked down for an investment of 1,500 to 2,500 and little to no success in general. Like the response quotes are really low. Most people by now just ignore messages and at worst they will report it as spam. So it can sometimes happen even quicker like within a week or two that you're getting your account locked down. So this one, I would highly recommend that you don't spend a penny on LinkedIn automation or on scraping. It's just not worth the risk and you don't want to entrust a random stranger with your most precious commodity asset, your LinkedIn account and all of your network that you have carefully built over many years. So that's a really big no. So the second option, how people often let someone else do their LinkedIn is to hire a social media manager. Now, this usually is much safer. You can um, give someone access to your account without having to share the password. They can use like an external scheduling software, something like Hootsuite or what I would recommend Socialbee. And um, then the social media manager will create content for you. They usually charge between 500 to 1,500 US dollar per month. And the problem is that most of those social media managers don't really are content creators. So you're getting oftentimes uh, content 
that they usually share on Instagram accounts such as motivational quotes or success messages or just generally some content inspired by viral posts. And the thing is, this content, maybe it is optimized for getting engagement, like getting more views or getting more likes, but it's not designed to get you clients. So the problem is this one, um, you basically getting engagement, although mostly just very little, and but you're not getting any clients because all of this content is not really targeted at your audience they just try to go for some pop for some popular content that has been proven on some other platform but this usually doesn't work on linkedin so in this case again i'm giving this like two out of ten stars the first one at zero out of ten stars so it's really not worth it spending that much amount of money on like a social media manager to just share some instagram quotes on your linkedin account Option number three is you hire a content strategist, someone who really understands your industry and is able to create a content cluster strategy for your industry and especially aimed at your target audience. So the way this works is basically that someone is like taking your company, looking at your industry, looking at all of your different services and products and looks which pain points are you solving for a potential customer's business. Then they're looking at like, okay, now we understand which problems you can solve. So which people are actually suffering from this kind of problem? Then you have to take this kind of problem and you have to find out like so where where do they exist like what industries are they living in like what is kind of the company size like where are they located location wise what specific uh, challenges are they facing and then they're mapping out different challenges in this customer's reality and from that point on someone can create a detailed content strategy which focuses on questions and challenges that this customer or a group of different customers are facing and then you have basically the perfect blueprint to do content marketing on LinkedIn because now when you're writing about anything from that content cluster strategy, you are guaranteed to talk about something that is really relevant and really interesting to any and every potential customer. So if you're carefully building your network and you're having this content strategy in place, it will instantly attract the right people and usually because the same kind of customer often connected to peers, it will attract more and more relevant people. When you have this content strategy in place, you can also outsource the content optimization. Now, if you're focusing on written content, you can, this is my recommendation, focus that you are the idea giver. You want to be the one presenting your unique solution, but do it in the form of bullet points. And then you can hire a content creator, copywriter, who can turn those bullet points into really amazing content. So you're the one giving the ideas and then you're having the content writer optimizing it for you. The other way is when you are doing video, get someone like a professional videographer to film you and to edit this so you can publish this on your LinkedIn feed. This one can cost anywhere between $2,500 to $10,000 in most cases, depending on like what you need in additional services. Do you need like a video editor? Do you need like someone coming with you to film this? Do you need a copywriter? But this way you are guaranteed to build a network of really hyper relevant potential future customers and you are creating content that is actually effective of getting people into your LinkedIn funnel. Now I promise you I would give you the number what you should invest. I would say you can get a decent job for 2500 depending on the amount of content that you want to create. With 2500 you can probably get like two to three posts per week completely done for you having a video editor or a copywriter if you need both video editor and copywriter you have to go up in budget but like for 2500 you can get really decent results on linkedin and this is really what i want you to think about if you can't afford 2500 don't spend 500 on a social media marketing manager or 1500 on someone generating leads for you you're just wasting your money you're not going to get the results that you're looking for in this case, it's much more affordable to actually do everything DIY. If you want to learn how you can do this, you can check out my LinkedIn Accelerator program, which is basically my complete A to Z do-it-yourself LinkedIn sales funnel tool, which shows you exactly how to find your audience, how to find the right topics for your videos, how to structure your content, how to write your content, how to edit it, how to find the perfect hashtags. I'm going to put the link down in the description and up here. 
And if you want to uh, start even with a lower budget, you can also check out my free LinkedIn hashtag guide, which shows you exactly how to find the best hashtags to attract your ideal clients on LinkedIn. If you want to get more videos about LinkedIn, also make sure that you hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, and I see you in the next one. Bye.